what's crack on y'all? It's Sloan, and we are back at Thor's Military Academy. Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel, the first. And I do believe the day has ended. Looks like we're in the main building. I'm gonna check it real quick to make sure I can get confused easily. Oh, it doesn't have my... That's weird. I don't know why it doesn't want my position to be on the freaking map. It's dumb. Whatever. Yes, the day is over, and it is time to retire for the evening. There's one thing that I pointed out before that I'm like that it defaults oh, you're to back the Turing? negative. Yeah. You all on your way back then? Wait, we're, why are we missing people? Oh, that's just because it's my crew. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling a bit bush today. I figured it was about time to return to the dorms too. Uh, to be honest, I was hoping to get some more studying in, but since everyone else was going back, <laughs> good old peer pressure. <laughs> oh, aren't Laura and Fee with you? I'm afraid not. We looked for them, but they were nowhere to be found. Did they do a drug anymore? They're old enough to find their own way back. I guess well, you're right, but I don't know about it's a shame we couldn't all go back together. That's true. Green? Huh? Hello hmm. there. Who's the kid? Is that girl? Oh, I like this music. Isn't that uniform police? When did you? What? I is that your sister? The one and only. Well, what are you doing here, Elise? And this late in the day, too. <laughs> Look deep in your amazed. heart, and you'll find your answer. What? Good manners. It's a pleasure to meet all of you. I'm Elise, Rain's sister. I apologize for cutting in, but would it be possible for me to borrow him for a while? I guess Rain's not been a while, huh? back with everyone either. Must be six months since I saw you? Seven? Yeah. The last time I saw you was when I came back to Ymir at the end of last year. But I always thought we'd have a chance to meet up after you enrolled here. Oh, she's pissed. I'm sorry. I wanted to meet you out here too. It's just... I've been so busy lately. Besides, it's not easy to get permission to leave St. Astraea's campus, is it? That's entirely beside the point. I mean, she's high class, so she probably has some strings to pull. Heimdall is just 30 minutes from Trista by train. Add 20 more minutes travel time to get from Central Station to my school. But I suppose you're so tied up that even 50 minutes is too much time to spare for a little visit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I really am. I kept being hit with classwork, exams, field studies. But you're right. I probably could have made time if I'd made that a priority. It's just that... Yes? Well... It's just that when I saw you last year, you seemed kind of... distant. I thought maybe you'd started to find me a bother, so I figured it'd be best to just stay out of your way, I guess. <sighs> I know the feeling. I was never distant! Well, you might not have been intentionally, but that's how you came off as. It seemed that way because... Well, it's kind of a personal thing. I'd rather not talk about it. If something's bothering you, you know you can always tell me about it. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't matter. What does matter is that I've never thought of you as a bother, ever! And I swear on Adios' name that I never will! Oh, really? I'm happy to hear that. Alright then. I'm going to clear up some time to come to the capital and see you. Promise. 
And you're always welcome to come visit me here, too. Really? <coughs> I'm glad to hear it. After How growing you up drop together, the you're the kid. last person I'd want to feel distant from. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. Hmm. So, is that what you came all the way out here to talk about? I highly doubt it. it. Seems a little overbearing just for that. <laughs> yep. Well, our lack of communication has definitely been on my mind. But that's not the main reason I came here today. Do you really not know why I came? Should I? <laughs> Clueless. Oh, that's the last letter I sent to you, isn't it? Oh, did you come for the souvenir I got you on our trip to the Nord Highlands? I found this cute accessory there that I figured you'd like. Y you did? Wait, no, that's not why I came either. The issue here is the final part of your letter. It's possible that after I graduate, I'll join the army. Even if I don't, though, I doubt I'll be coming back home to live. I really want to repay Mom and Dad for all they've done for me, so I'd appreciate your help with that at some point. I'm looking forward to catching up with you. Hope you're doing well. Ah, that. Hmm. What did you mean by, even if I don't, though, I doubt I'll be coming back home to live? Or by wanting to repay Mother and Father? You make it sound as though you intend to sever ties with them. You can't honestly be thinking that you're going to quietly bow out of succeeding father as head of the family. Are you, Reen? I mean, they don't necessarily need a male heir. It's not That's like this exactly is... what I'm thinking. I have no intention yeah. of becoming the head of the family or the next Baron Schwarzer. <gasps> but What's so why? surprising about that? I was adopted. I wasn't so? born into a nobleman's life. The best thing would be for you to marry a good man and have him succeed Dad as Baron. Hmm. That doesn't even make sense! You might not be related to us by blood, but you're still father's only son! And the right of adopted children to succeed their family name is recognized under Imperial law! Yeah, if the adopted child is of noble blood. At least that's how it's gone in most cases. Yeah, in most cases. And besides... Do you actually even know who your parents are? And I'm or not. your birth parents? Oh. What am I? Some abandoned kid that dad found buried in a blizzard 12 years ago. Yeah, see, you don't know. If you were randomly found, you don't know what your parent or national or original parentage is. So you very well could have no blood flowing through you and be unaware. I couldn't even remember where I was from or life before that. Just my name. Well, at that point, you were a small child. When he chose so to take me in as a son. Chair. Dad became the hot topic of high society. Bold People called him eccentric, statement. crazy. Some of them even accused him of being unfaithful to mom. <laughs> Please, I haven't actually met Baron Schwarzer, but if Green is anything to go off of, he wouldn't. When he even asked him to his face if he intended to open wide the gates of the nobility to some yeah. low-born bastard. At some point, Rude. he got tired of dealing with all of it. He started to avoid leaving Ymir. Yeah, I don't blame him. And eventually, he stopped showing his face at all among the nobility. Except on rare occasions. Again, I don't blame him. They basically rejected him outright. For a little act of kindness. I've caused a lot of trouble for a family. People suck. And I really don't want to cause any more than I already have. But that's not on you. That's because society is a dick and doesn't know how to accept someone doing a good thing for an innocent child. I doubt I'll be able to leave the Schwarzer name behind. But at the very least, I want you and Mom and Dad to have the respect you deserve with your peers. Well, if your peers are going to ostracize you for adopting an innocent babe, then why do you want their respect like that? That's not worthy After of it. After all, you'll be 16 next year, making your debut into high society. <laughs> I know it might seem extreme to you, but try to understand how I feel. I'll still visit Ymir. It's not like I want to just walk out of your lives altogether. Yeah, sure. That's not that's it. Kind of what it sounds like. I mean, Mom and Dad have always looked out for me, and that's a debt I'll never... You don't get it. What? You don't get it at all. You don't understand how father feels. You don't understand how mother feels. And you don't understand how I feel. Elise? <laughs> You're the worst! Why do you always have to be so stubborn? I hate you! I hate you! And cue the running away. Elise? Yep.
Oh, the cliche, cliche well, is what are you doing painful. just standing there? What are you? Look, I'm sorry we might have overheard you, but that's beside the point. Deliberate right eavesdropping, now. bitch. Don't just stand there. Go after her. She was crying. I know this isn't a simple problem, but you can't just leave things like they are. She needs you. Indeed. You have a duty to her as family. Okay. I will. If you see her around, let her know I'm looking for her. We will. So get going. <laughs> You've got a slap or two coming when you do find <laughs> her, I'd wager. Yep. That's true. Well, that's... Oh, we're not even done yet. It's no use. I can't sense her anywhere. I need to start looking around the entire campus. Okay, so it is. That's a nice heavy way to start Black Friday. Actually, is it bad? I kind of want to see if he gets slapped now, honestly. That said, speaking of Black Friday, it's still a lot less than some people will end up getting before the day is out. I wonder if we can fish right now. I totally can. I don't have any... I don't feel like using bait right now. I kinda feel like that's a little bit out of place, given the situation. Oh, here we go. Oh. It's Laura. You looking for at least two? I am. I heard her disappearance earlier, and I've been searching for her ever since. Thanks. I really appreciate it. You should save your thanks until after we found her. I was informed what happened between the two of you. Oh, I'm sorry you got into, dragged into what should have been a family matter. Belonging to the nobility comes with countless obligations and complications, and your family situation is more complex than most. I believe I understand at least some of your frustrations. Laura, however, there's one thing I feel I have to ask you. Could you swear to your sister with your hand on your heart that your choice isn't simply your desire to escape that life? <laughs> Forgive me, it's not my place to pry. Not at least when I had my own hesitations to overcome. No, you're right. Looks like you've got things covered here, so I'm going to look elsewhere, okay? Understood. Leave this area to me. Oh, she's not in the gym, obviously. I bet she's in the auditorium. Unless, of course, it's locked, which is, it could be. Oh. It's not here. You're looking for someone? I haven't seen anyone while I was cleaning the auditorium, if that helps. Huh, well, I'd have expected that. Let's see. Be hiding behind the shed, maybe? B. Hmm, not here either. C? Are you looking for at least two? Mm hmm. I got a call about what happened. No luck so far, though. Really? Thanks. I appreciate it. Sounds like you had a family spat. <laughs> I told you about that, huh? I'm not an old by birth. The fact is, I don't even have a drop of noble blood in me. I've always been an outsider in their world. That's why I know the day will come when I have to leave home, because I don't belong there. Not really. Thought at least would understand that, but it doesn't seem like she does. Until the other Zephyr took me in, I was alone too. I never even knew my real parents. So I understand, at least a little bit. Mm. But they were still family to me. I never thought about leaving them. Why would I? That's the one place I knew I'd always belong. Don't you feel a way about your family? I. Well, it's none of my business. Let's just find her. You're right. I'll just say to you then. Thanks, V. Okay. Are we sure she's on campus? It doesn't. It says search for release. Which makes me wonder if she's actually in town. Let me see. 
Nope. Okay. That clears out Trista. Infirmary. I doubt she'd be here. I doubt your sister could have gone too far. And after all, she doesn't really know her way around here, right? We'll split up and help you look for her, too. Thanks. Just get in touch with me if you find your leads. Ooh, I wonder if she went to the old schoolhouse. And stopping. Hmm. Doesn't seem like she could have wandered in here. Let's try somewhere else. Okay then. So she's not behind the field shed. She's not in the gym. And I didn't see any exclamation marks here. I doubt she... Student Union building, maybe? No, that's the gym. I wonder if she could be... Well, I thought she might be in the salon, but I don't know if she, she's technically not a student here, so I don't know if her noble status qualifies her or not. I mean, they, I bet they'd bend their rules for her if she, even if she wasn't. Oh. I've yet to find her, unfortunately. None of the nobles from the salon have seen her either. You actually went into the salon to ask for me? Wow. Thanks, Jesus. Think nothing of it. You want to continue your search, though. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Like, He's made a spat out of the entire game to avoid the salon. Basically on principle because he doesn't want to be associated with all of the high and mighty snooty nobles. Which actually is, I will say, despite Eustace's preconceived prejudice, as far as nobles go, Eustace is actually pretty decent. I mean, he doesn't... He doesn't really come off as necessarily approachable, but given his family and, you know, he's not, his family and maybe his elite status, not quite sure how to go about it, you know, so that comes off as kind of natural, so I kind of don't want to blame him, he's got a, it's very clear he's got a bad relationship with his dad, like, they don't hide it, and then they actually show it in the, the Brayhard mission of his dad just being abrasive and kind of distant. But yeah, it's, uh, his older brother, I forget what his older brother is named now, but he is definitely more dad than his actual dad, from what I've seen. Is it still locked? Alright. Hmm, she was having pretty good. Did she go back to the roof? I figured she wouldn't go back to the roof because that's where she ran off from, but... Wait, what's this? What's this I saw an exclamation mark. Is she hiding here somewhere? That staff and that staff. Could she be in the occult room? Maybe she's in the occult room. Or the student council room? Ah, no. What's wrong, Marine? You seem lost and flustered. Yeah, if I don't know any better, I'd say you went to kind of trouble. It's, well, explain the situation to tell Angelica. Your sister? Yeah, I don't suppose either of you have seen her, have you? Not that I'm aware of. I've been talking with Toa for a while now. I see. 
Hmm. Stunning young beauty from St. Austria, with luscious Avon locks. She's Rena's sister too, so I'm sure she must have the great finest, most delicate flower. So whoever finds her gets her to be her one true prince, right? You're female. Absolutely not! Uh, Angie, this is serious! Sorry, couldn't help myself. Anyway, we'll do what we can to help. I'll take the global bike for a ride around this outside perimeter of the academy and see if I can find her. Honestly. Um, I'll do what I can as a student council president to see if we can find her too. I'll call you as soon as we hear anything, so keep searching! Thanks, both of you. Alright, so I'm guessing we have to go through all of the exclamation marks to find her. I bet, I bet that's what it is. We have to talk to everybody first, and once we've searched everywhere, she'll probably pop up. Yeah, so we... Yeah, there's an exclamation mark in front of the school, but I think that's pretty much a constant. Yeah, it's just gonna tell me that it's, she wouldn't have left town, or she wouldn't have gone into town. I don't think... <clears throat> this young lady, I'm afraid I've seen anyone, blah blah blah, she isn't in this building at all. Alright, so we're slowly uh, narrowing the search. This music, for some reason, almost makes me want to think of Studio Ghibli. It's not hiding behind the furnace. Wait, there's a gate over here. It doesn't seem like she's come this way. Why could she have gone? Uh, sorry she's being such a headache. Such a... Do you realize that you're the one to blame here, don't you? Of course you don't. That makes it even worse. I'm just going to leave this place to you and look somewhere else. <laughs> That's the new... I oh know, Jim. For sure, sure, she hasn't been through here. And she wouldn't be in the boys. No. So let's see. We've checked the field. We checked the gymnasium. The courtyard, perhaps. We checked engineering. Not in the student union building, she could be in... So she could be in the library, or the courtyard, I'm thinking. Well, this is the courtyard, she's not here. Perhaps, the only thing I can think of then is the library. That's the old schoolhouse, we've been there. Yep, search for release. Seriously? Where did you run off to? I legit don't remember. Of course, it's been a while, and I've only this was only my second playthrough of this game, so it's not like it's. I don't know, Ocarina of Time or something that I've played countless hours on. Hmm. And then I'm checking the roof. I've got literally nothing else to go off of at this point. She shouldn't be here good. Emma. Any luck, Emma? Not yet, unfortunately. I thought she might have made her way back here. 
Well, it just doesn't seem like it. I hope we find her soon. Alright, I'll go search somewhere else then. Sorry for the trouble, Emma. Yeah, I figured it wouldn't be on the map. Because that'd be too easy. Uh, what's up? Sorry, I haven't seen anyone around here. Not from St. Austria, at least. Oh, she's lost? I'll keep an eye out and let you know if I spot her. And then it's just back upstairs. The conference room. It's locked. Computer room might be locked too, I think, right? Oh, principal's office. Absent. Faculty lounge. Wait, so. Mind heart. Sister went missing, you say? Hmm, I don't believe I've seen her in this vicinity. You should continue your search for now. I'll get in contact with Instructor Valstein just in case. Off back there. Mm. What if I talk to George? You're looking for your sister? Yeah, you haven't seen her by any chance, have you? Afraid not. I would definitely know if she had passed by. Okay, I'll start looking for her too. I'll be the first to know if I find her. Thank you. That's a big help. So, I, yeah, I assume the only thing that makes sense is that I'd have to talk to everybody, but as far as I know, I've gone through all of the exclamation marks. Do I have to talk to guys specifically? I can't send her anywhere nearby. Do you have any idea where she might have gone? <sighs> Not at all. I feel like such a terrible brother. Hmm. I've got younger sisters, so I can sympathize. But we need to track her down, and sooner rather than later. Trying to think where she might go. She doesn't have any particular ties to anybody besides Reen, and all the bases are covered. What about? Th I'm gonna check the gate. I know they said there's nothing here, but. That gate is locked. So hiding back here. Yep. What about actually inside? Oh, store room is locked. Don't suppose she could be in with the horses? Quite a mystery. Oh, I can't go that way. And I can't go there at all. Maybe? I'm kind of impressed, actually. A lot of the times I'd just be blocked off. I could just be, like, space you can't access. Yes, and I understand that's typically what blocked off means, but... 
You know what I'm getting at. I'm convinced she's not in the school. I don't know why, but my gut is telling me she is in Trista. They're not hiding out in any of the bushes with the Pokemon. There's not, apart from the auditorium, it doesn't seem like there's a place that's secluded. Yeah. Really? Where? I'm terribly sorry, but I can't seem to remember. That dedicating. Tired of my focus to chasing my darling Vincent, after all. <sighs> this is the wrong tree to bark up. Alright, so I'm just going to start talking to random people then. This is just informing me of the situation. I'll take what Coleman and help the search too. Leave the highway to the riding club. If she's out there, we'll find her. Try to see this is a lot of people frantically searching for someone. I'll start looking around here so you can go search other places. Maybe I should talk to the chicken yield cult club. You're in the student union building, I believe. Looking for your sister. I haven't seen her, but I've been chilling in this room since morning. Grumble, grumble. Oh, there's uh, Marcus. I asked around, but no one's seen her. Sorry about that, Reen. No worries. Thanks for checking. She has to be somewhere on campus at the very least. Move on to the next place. Will do. Female student, sorry I haven't asked around here. And she sounds pretty cute, so I'm sure I remember. Black haired girl. I haven't seen anyone like that in the cafeteria. Maybe you should check somewhere else. Since I apparently have to start talking to other randos, I'm going to retrace my steps. Oh, that one happened to be a recipe book you've got there, would it? It is. Somebody gave it to me earlier. Why do you ask? Perfect! Simply perfect! I've just begun conducting some food-related research, you see. It just so happens that I've been on the lookout for someone who could assist me with it. Sorry, did you say research? I did indeed! It's related to geography, actually. I'm in the process of gathering a variety of... Well, perhaps you call them peculiar dishes. Dare I ask why? All over the world, every dish people cook has a deep history behind it. I'm interested in the hi history hiding behind the cuisine we consider bizarre or unappetizing. But it's no fun to just read about food. I want to say the dishes I research their history and purpose. I see. That's certainly a unique field of study. Oh, please, there's no need for flattery, Reen. Very well, consider this a standing offer. Come straight to me if you happen to stumble upon any new peculiar dishes. <laughs> I'm looking forward to what sort of dishes you'll bring my way. He didn't even give me a chance to say no. Oh well, might as well help him out. All I could do, all I could hurt is his stomach. Speaking of stomach, it's got me kind of hungry. A girl with black hair? I'm afraid I haven't seen her. I can't imagine she'd be able to slip out of me unnoticed, so I think it's safe to assume she's not here. So I apparently picked up a random side quest that I didn't know existed, and nothing else in the library. This is a union building. How is one girl able to evade me so well? I'm 
to check the shed, the stable, the gym, well, I assume... No, I want the gym. I mean, I kind of am assuming that there's no one there at this point, but that's not really working for me either, so I'm just gonna do it. I'll stop if I see a girl here earlier. Wait, does that mean she's lost? Mm, doesn't seem like a place for her to hide. And she wouldn't be in the boys' locker room. And I'm not allowed to go in the girls. And she clearly isn't interesting because it's locked off on the map. Nope, go away, turbo mode. Turbo-tastic! This turbo mode is not turbo-tastic. Just for the record. Can't go there. The worst part is it's gonna be a stupid obvious place too. I'm gonna smacking myself when I find her because obvious is obvious. It should be obvious, but it's not. I'm so sure she'd be hiding back here by the furnace. So I need to talk to the right people. Problem is, I'm not entirely sure who that is. Oh, this is the gym again. This is the main building, which she apparently has not been. Not behind there. That's just fishing. Yep, nope. <coughs> That's just what we want you to think. She actually drowned! Mwahaha! <laughs> well, that got dark. So much for taking the orbital bike, it still is sitting over there in engineering. Uh, so we still, it's just the basics to get out of here. Look at sister. Just in the students. Wait, was there anybody upstairs in the library? I didn't think to look. I'm gonna double check anyway. I mean, I did look, but I didn't notice anyone. So I wasn't specifically looking for them. Okay, yeah, it's empty. How is she hiding so well? This is crazy. Talk to him. Talk to her. And talk to this chick real quick. Wanting to purge. Oh, I might have all thought it was Elisa. Why are all of. She asked me a student from Shinastra what just happened. Seriously, do. You... Are all of the girls by? In this game? I'm pretty sure all the girls are by, except maybe Emma and Elisa, but we're not entirely sure about that. I'm just mostly sure. Uh, she can be hiding up here, I suppose. And there is. Hello, 
serious duel is only quite some time. Patrick isn't so bad. I was gonna believe after we demolish you. Holy hell. You I don't stand a chance when you go all out. But I guess that's what makes you the terror of the fencing club. Hmm. Fencing club, you say? I wanna join. It's a fencing club room. Wait, so why do they have the what's the difference between the fencing club and Oh, I guess that's for instruction, but isn't that kind of the point of classes? Or it's a, a meeting room, in, I guess, where they hold things as opposed to actual practice? At this point, I'm concluding that she has a co-conspirator. Because nothing else seems to make sense if I can't go to Trista. And no one has seen her. Someone's covering for her. Or several people might be covering for her. I don't know at this point. This is, oh, one five. One four. I'll let you know, I haven't talked to you yet. I haven't seen any girl with black hair. I haven't seen a bell either. He's certainly taking his time. Music room. Okay, locked. Home. Oh, heck. For a second, I thought I was icy. I'm like, wait, ice? But it must be an E. Hard to spell. <clears throat> I haven't talked to you yet. What do you got to say? Girl from the school, I haven't seen her. Certainly would have noticed her if she posed a threat to my process. Yep, I have very clearly, at this point, reaching for straws. Child. I think that's supposed to be some sort of event or something I'm supposed to trigger, but I can't imagine what it could be. Oh, I just realized I haven't seen Crow around. I've seen, yeah, I've seen George, Angie, Toa, but not Crow. Shh, now it's not the time for idle words. Have you eyes in your head? My very life is in danger. Are you searching for someone? I'm afraid I don't recall seeing anyone that matches that description. Mm. 
Now all it says is search for release. And I got nothing. I should say it's one thing about it. It's been a while. No, oops, no, go away, go away, be gone. Nah. Are we expecting to be attacked or something? Mm -hmm. I'm pretty vague on the details, just search for release. It's just the square button being striped. Oh, I didn't know I could go on this side. That's kind of cool. On this platform. Didn't think I could go there. How am I not able to find this child? She's trying to steal Luke's crown as longest hind sea champion. She's off to a decent start. I think there's something, or there was someone I was supposed to talk to that I haven't yet, but I think I've talked to just about everybody. And I've certainly talked to everybody from class 7. For sure, guaranteed. Maybe I'm focusing on the wrong thing. Maybe I should start looking for clues instead of trying to actually find her. But I don't think that'll work because that's not this kind of game. Academy is, I can't help but worry. I mean, you could help. I already talked to her. This is the fishing club, right? No, nope, photography, but also locked. Wait, what? Finished, yep. It's just the two of them here. Wow, that student council office has a couch? What? Seriously? What student council room has a couch? Like, who does that? No lower class seats. I'm technically an upper class, so I should be able to go in there. Just saying.
Maybe the notebook will offer some clues? Point, I'm running in circles. Literally and figuratively. But as far as I know, I've checked everywhere. It's the gym, right? Yep. Fishing pond, the old schoolhouse. I don't suppose telling to everybody has made a difference. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, now I can do this. What am I going to do? I can't find her anywhere. Did she go back into town? It feels like she wouldn't have left the academy grounds, though. Yo, Reen, what's up? There's Crow. I noticed he seems particularly absent. Crow? I'm just looking for someone. A classmate? Or did some second-year sweetheart confess to you and you botched things up? <laughs> Actually, it's my younger sister. She's not a student here, though. Oh, you have a sister? Honestly, I always kind of got that only child vibe from you. Well... About that. I guess that must be who that girl I saw earlier was, then. Long black hair, St. Australia Academy uniform, tear-stained cheeks... Yep, that checks out. That has to be her! Where did you last see her? She was talking with one of those upper crust boys in white, out on that path behind the school. That stuck Father. up first year, what's his name? High Arms, I think? Oh, lovely. Don't Literally you anyone start else. Acting like you're above me, Schwarzer. Just because Ymir's lord took you in out of pity doesn't change the fact that you're a nobody without a drop of noble blood. With him? It's literally the worst possible student she could run into. Your older brother. Awkward. Save for Game of Thrones, I mean, what? <gasps> Where am I? Oh, who might you be? That's the uniform of Heimdall's St. Astraea Girls' School, if I'm not mistaken. What brings a lady like yourself all the way out here? No, no, I, I apologize. I, I wasn't accusing you of anything. I... Wait, right. I, I, I should introduce myself first. My name is Patrick. Patrick Hyams. I'm sure you've heard the name before. Always trying to flex, huh? Hyams? It's a pleasure to meet you. 
I'm Elise Schwarzer, daughter of Baron Schwarzer. Ah, Elise. Such a lovely sounding name. Wait a second. Yep, there it is. Schwarzer? Uh, as in, Reen Schwarzer? Are you his sister? I yes. Reen is my elder brother. Ugh. Why does she have to be related to that cretin? <laughs> but wait, he was adopted. That means they aren't related by blood. That's another word. It seems you're not on the best of terms with my brother. Yeah, that's pretty clear. I don't wish clear. to cause you any unpleasantness, so I'll just excuse myself. N no, no, you aren't. I, I mean... Wait! That way! Oh. Was he actually trying to prevent her from going to the old schoolhouse? You said you saw her behind the old schoolhouse. Which way did she go? Behind the old schoolhouse. Hmm. Oh, right. Come on. I'll show you where I saw her. But it's locked. How's she supposed to get in? Damn. Where could she have scurried off to? The old schoolhouse is usually locked, so I don't think she could have gone in there. Patrick! You. Where's Elise? You better not have tried to pick a fight with her and scared her off. Why do you want to fight her? I, I did no you. such thing. I, I just happened to see her crying, so I approached her to see what was wrong. Mm -hmm. Then, when she took off running this way, I, I followed her, out of gentlemanly concern. <sighs> Looks like she definitely came through here, though. You think she could have gone into that old schoolhouse you guys poke around in every month? Couldn't be. We locked it after we finished up in there earlier. You're sure about that? No, oh, yeah, it's gotta be. I even checked it myself. I assume she got in, but how? Huh. Well, that doesn't go well at all. Short while earlier. Seriously, how did she get in? She picked a lock? Because I know it was locked. Where am I? What is this place? <sighs> The door wasn't locked. How? And why? I assume it was part of the magic. Oh, did the cat unlock it? The cat seems to have magic, so that could be. Invisibility? Oh, it looks like there's something written here. Shouldn't touch anything. Why is it going down? Ah! So it was an elevator. 